Guys, Sinister Gamers here. Before I get on with the episode, I want to make sure if you guys are new here, to make sure you go watch the starting of the series first, um, so you get the better picture of what's going on here. And I don't want you guys to get spoiled about what I'm about to say. So I would leave this video now if you haven't watched the rest of the series. So pretty much what happened last episode was we ran into some trouble with some raiders. Somebody in our group was slipping them supplies. Um, Lily thought it was Carly, but we still haven't determined who it was. Um, and then Carly got shot in the face by Lily. Um, and also poor Duck, sadly, tragically, he got bit. So we're dealing with a lot of problems right now. So other than that, we're going to get right to it. And th once again, thanks for watching, guys. Let's get right into it. Better check what's inside this place. Wow, wait, way to glitch through the door. Whoa. Somebody's been living in here. Yeah, man. Shit, think they're gone? I hope so. But this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. Don't take this to Kanja for Duck. Ooh, a map. A map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kinney's got us headed. So as you can see, we got a map. Um, and actually this train goes right to the coast as he said. So we might as well go bring Duck this water since the poor guy's dehydrated. We found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. These tracks lead right to Savannah. Holy hell. Can you guys see about moving that thing? We could have something here. Yeah, we're on it. Here, found some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? That's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't. But you're probably right. Hey, sweet pea. You okay out here? I don't think Duck feels good. Uh, me neither. Look at that sheet metal. We're in a stalemate here. I don't know where what we're supposed to do, but we'll figure it out. Ooh, tools. Ha! <laughs> 
Actually, I think this um, this uh, monkey wrench might help us get that uh, pen off. Ooh, I don't know why I'm so tired. And again, here in Canada, summertime's coming, so it's hot as balls. It's stuck. I can definitely pry this thing free if I can break it loose first. Hmm. It's stuck. We need a bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. What the hell? Hmm, I thought if you got it again and like smash it or something. Ugh. We got one. Walker, sitting in the chair. We got him. <sighs> Suppose we gotta look him over. Yeah. Poor guy. Ooh. I don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it? <laughs> not. Are you fucking serious? Here, look. What? It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems a sick. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. Well, let's look around. Maybe it goes somewhere we'd like to be. Ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. Uh. Hmm, let's check this out. There's a notepad on the train. Do you have any pencils or anything in your pack? No, I wish. Maybe in the RV. What do you need it for? There used to be something written on the notepad that I need to know about. Well, if you're not using it, I'd take it. I'm out of paper, and there's all sorts of new leaves around here. Might as well check the RV, see if there's a pencil. There we go.
Let's go see if the spike remover can get rid of that. It's stuck. We need a bunch mm. of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. Hmm. There's gotta be a better way to do this. I don't know how to get that pen off. Perfect. You can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. So both buttons down. And both of those up. Up, down, up. Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good. Five is to the side, and then up. Now we're talking. No! Oh, I didn't mean to freaking leave. Oh, I guess that's it on here. Nothing? Uh, nothing again. Oh my gosh, I opened the exact same one, didn't I? Oh my gosh, man. Oh, here we go. There we go. Holy shit! We're golden! Yeah, we are. Golden. Man, it feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. It's all yours. Yep. Damn it. Of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck? And get us unstuck? Yeah. I know where we're stuck. Uh, hopefully, when it moved like that, it loosened it or something. All right, are you going to cooperate? 
Yes. There. Hey, Kenny, we're loose. Oh, so the whole time we had to get it moving. Well, that was a waste of time. You touch any of my stuff? I took the map of the trade routes. That's fine. You can have that. Really? Yeah. I got them all right up here. I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warm to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met a guitar. Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> Poor Doc. I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got. Although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on that? Uh... Stay with us. We'd like the company. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Want a ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. <laughs> That's a yes, then. And find anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. Getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can keep going if you want. Damn right I won't. That's what we're doing. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through. Get on, cat. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. Uh, let's get moving. Hey buddy, let me give you a hand. You gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. 
there were more of us. Dad, get him. Yes. Oh, it's a shame. Lee. Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Oh. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. Poor guy. I mean, I don't think any kid should have to deal with that. You need to stop the train. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that right now. Go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. You're in denial! And you've given up! On Duck, on everyone! Stop it, goddammit! Fuck you, Lee. Uh oh. You're gonna listen. Or what? Calm down and. How the fuck do you calm down after a day like today? By talking to your friend. You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. You looked out for your kid, when a bad thing happened to someone else's. There ain't no way this world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. You know that. Stop the train, man. Poor Kenny. Ken, it's... I think it's time. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. What do you need? I... I... Gotcha. It's time to... Oh, this is not possible. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... What if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Kat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Could just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. Kenny, you're his dad. You do it. And I'm his mother. Lee's right. And don't give me that I brought him into this world joke. Shush. He's still a baby boy. 
It would be different if he were older. Let me do this. Then I'm coming with you. No, hon. Stay with me. Your son loves you. And you should remember him as the silly boy we used to have. Not this. Happening. Poor guy lost his son. Duck is dying. I know. I gotta be honest. What is Katya doing? She's putting him out of his misery. Things are... What the hell? No. God. This will never happen to you. You don't know that. Yes, I do. I'm gonna go get her. She's probably a mess. Ben, get Clementine on the train, all right? And keep your eyes open. Hopefully cat's okay. <laughs> what the hell? What happened? Cat! Cat! Gotcha! Oh no. Why, cat? Honey. Oh fucking god. <laughs> I'm so sorry. She could she 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 just oh, oh, oh fuck. Oh my gosh, first duck and now poor cat. Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. Poor guy. Look at that. He was sad that he was just gonna lose Duck, but he lost both. That must be horrible.
Tom. Uh-uh. You, uh, understand what happened? Yes. Okay. What do you think it's about? What Chuck said. What Chuck said? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. The fuck he did? I swear. Sorry. I took some sense into it. Don't be mad. Hey. How you doing? I don't care what reason you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Because she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. If y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. He's right. Like a gun. Are you kidding me? What? She's too young to handle one? There ain't too young. Not anymore. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then I mean, he is kind of right. Gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. Yeah, sorry if I keep yawning, guys. You have any family? Out there. Kind of tired for some reason. Been sort of on my own for the past... Oh, 14 years now. Dang. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. I shot the kid, you know? I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. You got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there about whether or not you folks want company. Be safe up here. You betcha. You and me, we... Oh, fuck it. Let's just get to the ocean. You still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Yeah. It's the best plan. Hey. Yeah? Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. Mind if I get by you for a second, Kenny? Can you just leave me alone? Dude, there's a map right there. Hey, Ben. Hey. Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. We're all homeless. You know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah, I guess not. Carly didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. See you. Yeah. The door to the boxcar. Whoops. Or do I spell, do I see a bottle of whiskey? It's a 
the whiskey. They look clean enough. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh, tidy up a little so you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. We're gonna teach you how to shoot. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? When you're ready to shoot, make sure you're not breathing too hard. And then hold your breath right when you pull the trigger. Like when I'm swimming? No, just for a quick second. I found that if I did that, I was a lot more accurate. It's tough, but it'll help. I can do that. Okay. Oh, it's an empty bottle. We don't want to be shooting anything Good. full. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Ooh. You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yes. Yeah, you do. Okay. A little bit more to the left. Okay, a little higher. Ooh! I got it! Excellent. Good shot. Don't lock your elbows. A bit to the right. Aim a little higher. Ooh, there again. You go. Nice. Alright, <laughs> keeps locking the elbows. I did Ooh. it! Yeah, you did. Good job. I was holding my breath, and the gun didn't shake so much. See, you did good. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh uh. My hands hurt and my ears have noise in them. Like. You'll <laughs> get used to it. So you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut sure. it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. Okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Yeah, that would be a good idea, because what if you didn't get a cut and you got your do hair you grabbed and eaten? Do this? Nope, no idea. <laughs> I'm not much of a stylist, you know? I'm going to look like a boy. But think how much safer you'll be. 
I'd rather be dead. Shush now. So you did kill someone before? Yeah. You could have just told me. I wouldn't have been afraid of you or anything. I'm sorry. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. Killing is bad no matter what. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. Doesn't make it good. But you have to. I do it because it's necessary. Walkers aren't people. Okay, I think I'm about done. I can probably tan these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There, all set. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no. It's not too bad. Cute. And a lot harder to grab. Hey, where'd the hair go? Want some whiskey? I found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Sure. Ooh. Not known for its finish. No kidding. Anybody in there want to share a drink, you let them know. Will do. Kenny could use one. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some? Yeah. Yeah. That'd there, help. now I can get that map. Bandit supplies. What? What the heck, Ben? It's all my fault. What for? Why the hell would you do this? They said they had my friend, that he was with them. By the time I realized they didn't, it was too late. They said they'd kill me. Kill all of us. I'm sorry, Lee. Oh, as I mean, as long as he didn't just say, hey, here, have all our food. And he had a reason. Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're going to do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. No. Look. No, I don't care about safety. 
I care about finding them. Okay, we'll look for them. Really? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Okay, let's. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. We're gonna want to look for a boat here, I imagine. And from there, we've got all the savannah to the southwest of us. Now we've got a good chunk of savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the, um, um, something Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it. Ah. So we'll head there. Yes. You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know. Sure. Go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far. Oh shit! Hold on! Uh oh. Please. Oh my. Got gas? Fuck, 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 fuck! Maybe we could walk? That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm, I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something uh -oh. that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo, you keep screaming oh, hello. like that, you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. No, we're friendly. Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there. We won't let them escape. Uh-oh. Leads up to that wreck tanker. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. Oh, that sucks. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now. What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Look, you want to help us out? We could use some able bodies and yeah, we we really need some help. What's in it? Oh shit. God damn, you guys have a kid. What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit. What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Well, this is great. See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? I, uh, didn't make it that far. And everybody down there, they're cool? Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. A train is awesome, though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, 
But if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. Stop signs. Ooh, tape. That's about the only useful thing in here. Always beat a zombie with the pylon. Or there's always one of the signs. Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, we could use some good people. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. Yeah, might as well take a look at it. Guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I mean, in this episode, we saw a lot of crazy shit. I mean, Kenny lost his wife and kid, and a lot of other bad stuff happened. So hopefully next episode is not too bad. I mean, I don't, I, in my opinion, I don't like losing people. But, you know, it just happens. So once again, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And that music in the background is pretty sick. This is Sinister Gamers, signing out.